guys welcome to another casted replay here to get a very exciting exciting matchup for you in the bottom right we are going to have as the orange abyssid player Mimon. i'm just going to call him Mimon. in the upper left we have katakori playing as the pink mongol player this is going to be a top 100 uh, level game here i was sent this game um supposedly it's a good one we'll see how it plays out here Right off the bat, I'm really excited to see how these two uh, civilizations play against each other. I have not played a lot of Mongols on ladder recently, but um, I used to play a little bit of them. And I'm, I'm not really sure what this what this matchup usually looks like. I feel like I, for some reason you just don't really see a lot of Abbasid v. Mongols matchups. I don't know why. Keep in mind, Mongols did get a buff recently. They now start with a packed Gur. So that will help them out tremendously. Just going over to Katakuri's base right away. Looks like he elected to put his tree on the wood line and then his Gur over here on the gold. Okay. Pretty standard. That's kind of what you used to do, except you used to have to, you know, chop the wood and, and put it on the gold if your gold didn't start next to a uh, wood line. I do think you could get maybe a little more um, greedy with your TC placement. You could kind of put it here between this this berries and this and this baby tree line right here. I think might be a good spot to, for it. Might also be a little closer to the gold. Um, but you know, when you start, he might not have seen that that spawn next to him. Um, he might have just prioritized more kind of getting up off the ground as soon as possible, right? Okay. Another thing you can do is you can you know pop a gur on the deer, then we're done with the deer. You can just wheel it over to these berries, right? You don't have to build two production buildings that way. All right, Guru Abbasid player here. Looks like he's walling off. That is a very early wall off. He must be paranoid about some early aggression here. Maybe he's worried about a little early horseman. Early horseman kind of got a roundabout buff. They got a value buff essentially. The upgrade from early horseman to horseman is now cheaper and faster, just like it is for spearmen and vanguard men at arms. So basically all Dark Age troops kind of got a buff in a way. Roundabout buff. Be careful not to lose a scout with all these sheep. But it doesn't look like it is not going to be uh, an early horseman build. Anything like that. Uh, interested to see if he elects to go for Mangadai. Ooh. Uh, I think he's safe. That was very dangerous though. That was very dangerous. That would have been bad if he got that scout killed and gave up six sheep. Anyways, but yeah, well, interested to see if Katakuri decides to go for Magadai or just right into Fast Castle here. Um, I'm not totally sure. Looks like he's doing a good job gathering up sheep. He got a few. I don't know. It looks like it's probably a pretty even split for sheep. Actually, maybe Mimo won the sheep count here. House of Wisdom coming down here. I'm not an absolute player. This seems, this seems kind of late, though, for a House of Wisdom. I guess you don't really need it until you age up, right? It does build really fast, too, so that's good. Looks like we learn current resources. Oh, yep. Here we go, folks. It's a silver tree. It is a silver tree. This is what I suspected might have happened in this game. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, interesting to see how he deals with this. Uh, he has mentioned he does like to do a silver tree build to me before. Uh, let's see how he can maximize its effects here. What you can do is, is you can build the silver tree right next to your base. And then you can wheel it to the optimal spot for trading posts would be. And if you can keep your silver tree up for long enough, you basically have infinity gold. It's like, it's basically like having, you know, five relics and a regnance or, you know, English enclosures on you know 60 farms it, it's it, honestly it's maybe even better than that like if, if you can get a silver tree up and running it's the most the best eco landmark in the game if you can keep your trade route up but that can be very challenging at times i think he knows that the abyssal player won't really want to make troops here early um because he might just let him go like three town centers. I mean, the silver tree is so ridiculous. Like it can outboom basically anything if you keep it up long enough. Because what you do is you just get so much gold, you can basically just buy whatever resource you want that way, and you basically never run out of money. It's extremely powerful. Where's he gonna wheel it over to? 
Where are you going, buddy? Maybe double producing traders. That's something you can do from the Uvu here. Might consider doing that. Um, I do know some people in the East Silver Tree are a big fan of that. It does look like that's what he's going to do. It looks like he's going to double produce them. Probably, I don't know, what trading post is he going to send it to? I'm just going to see if it rallies it to this one or this one. This one will give less money, but it might be safer. Yeah, I feel like you just I feel like you just want to go for this one right here. You just want to go for the longer route, right? And he is gonna be double producing those traders. Here we go. And you Oh no, he's going to this one. He's going for the closer one. Okay. Looks like this is gonna get scouted out probably pretty immediately. I think the scout is gonna um uh, maybe run into these traders here. We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to see him. He's definitely seeing him. All right, let's see how he plays it. I think Camel Archers is going to be the move there. Both players in Feudal Age now. But yeah, I think Camel Archers are going to be able to, the best unit to kind of deal with these traders. Ironically, I think one of the best units to kill traders with is Mangadai, which is obviously Mongols. I feel like Mongols counter is Silver Tree Mongols pretty hard. Just because you can make, like... You know, just a couple Mangadai, you know what I mean? And the counter Mangadai are archers and they move around slower and can't defend the trade route as fast as a Mangadai can move. Couple hor horsemen coming out here. These all these all are uh, upgraded horsemen. These are not early horsemen. Let's go over here to Mimon's base. He's still walling up here. This was not the move. He probably wishes he had this wood for camel archers now. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, someone's trying to outboom me as Abbasid. Oh god, what do I do? Gonna get a second town center up before seven minutes. So that's pretty good. I don't know. What is he gonna do though? I feel like he needs to go into camel archers here. It's gonna be horsemen though. Doesn't even have an archery range up here. I feel like that would probably be the best unit to uh, punish these traders. Let's see how much gold they have. 122, not bad. And he's got two of them. So there's 244 gold coming back here on their first trip. And you can see how this thing can add up very quickly. Oh wait, where did he put it? Oh, we put it all the way over here. <laughs> Wow, big brain play over here. So that's why so much. I was going to be like, man, 177 for that. That's not bad. I was like, oh, okay. He's going all the way over here. That's that's a pretty good route. The thing is, I don't... I think the traders might try and wrap around here. I think this might be the optimal trade route. All right, do a first horseman coming in here. Peeking Mimon's base. Going to back off. But this is the smart move here, right? You just want to keep your troops alive to defend your trade route. That is going to be your goal in this build. Mima just doesn't look like he knows what to do here. He's going to go into Horseman. Would like to see him throw down an Archer range. Just could be effective. Horseman Camel Archer, I do think, would be quite effective at stopping this. The problem is... Is that <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of trips. Watch this. Look. Look at Katakuri's gold income already. 774 a minute. In less than a minute, he will have enough gold to go to Castle Age. And what he can start doing if he has an excess of gold is then is then buy food to age up. Archer's going to get caught a position here by Horseman. Nice little pickup by Mimon. Yeah. I think he wants to run back to the tower here. Might get one of the archers in there. Yeah, he's going to get one. Okay. It's a lot of Horseman here, though. I think Katakuri is okay with this. I think at this point, your main goal is just going to be keep this trader out online because it's just so profitable. Oh, he's, the trader count's getting up three there. Three there, that's six. Seven. Okay, so he's got seven, and he's making more here. Double production. Interesting strategy. I think that might be meta. I think that might be the way to do it. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like you could stop it if... If you went for the traders, he saw the silver trade. I don't understand why he's not poking around for traders here. They're such sitting targets. They're so easy to take out. What you don't want to do is let Katakuri get towers up along the trade route. Oh, man. He's going all in on this. Because once you get towers, it A, defends the traders, obviously. And B, it boosts their speed. The Yam Network, you don't need deer stones for Yam Network for villagers and traders. You get it automatically. You don't need to pay for it or anything. It's just there. You just get it. Which, if this strategy ends up being OP, I could see them nerfing that. I could see them nerfing the yam for traders. Two markets here. What is he? Wow, he is going all out. I think he's uh, cheating here. I think he can drop the gold off at, at, at this market and then pick up another round and go home, maybe? 
Oh, no. Here come the horsemen, though. They're going to kill a villager building the market. The markets are not happening right now. Tower come with arrow slits, but it's not going to do anything. Should probably cancel that. Oof. I was going to take out that tower. Let's see how this goes. I mean, the problem is Katakori, he's been making a lot of money off of this for a long time here. He's got the spearmen out. There's no camel archers. Where are the camel archers? You have one of the ideal units for this kind of situation, Mimon. Horsemen are going to get scared off by the spearmen. And this trade route is going to keep humming along here. I mean, what you want to do is break your horsemen up, send like one or two over here. Like one or two over here. I guess these guys are maybe through the back. Just along the trade route, you know what I mean? Just kind of just spread them out everywhere. God, 195 gold. Whew. Look at this. Each one of these guys is 195 gold. Katakori looks like he's putting all his gold to good use. With he must be just buying a bunch of upgrades. He must be upgrading everything. Yeah, he does. He does have a couple upgrades. A couple eco upgrades. There we go. Horsemen are going to burn down a tower, but they're going to get scared off. Where you go. Spear count's getting pretty high here for Katakuri. This could be problematic for Mimon. He's finally getting in some camel archers. This is what he needed here. I think Katakuri might scout this out and he'll start going into production of his own archers here. So once you get that 1-1-1 one, one, one up, you know, we've got spears, archers, and horsemen all together. It kind of becomes a problem. He could honestly probably just ditch the horsemen. He's just... I mean, not make anymore. I mean, obviously keep the ones he has, but... Just make some more. Could be effective. Horseman Camel Archer's moving out. This could be a big battle here. I don't think Mimo wants his trade route to stay up any longer. Spearman coming in. Beautiful braces here. Gonna catch a lot of the horsemen off guard. Camel Archers, they're targeting the horsemen. They need to be targeting the spearmen here. Some horsemen are gonna wrap around onto the Camel Archers. This is not good. This is not looking good for Mimon. These spears are cleaning everything up. Mimon engaged way too many horsemen into these spears. Archers moving forward. Beautiful micro onto the camel archers. Spears continuing to move forward. And this is looking good for Katakori. Mimon is having to run away with his tail between his legs. I mean, it looks like he's chasing him off now, but Katakori is just waiting to get his archer count up here to deal with these camel archers. He can adjust accordingly. He's got the better eco now. It doesn't matter that he that Mimon's on two town centers. Silver Tree is more powerful when you let leave it up for this long and have this many traders. I mean, look at this. I mean, this isn't even having Yam Network right now. There's only Yam Network right over here. You can basically, you know, increase your trade route's strength, the eco strength, quite a bit by just building towers along the route. Oof, Mimon, he's turtling up here. I don't think he knows what to do. He's got to know about this silver tree. I just don't know why he's punishing it. Mimon's going to run south here with some horsemen. I don't know what he hopes to find here. There's no emplacements in these towers. It might be the move to yeah, throw some horsemen over here and maybe siege some of these down. I feel like he really needs to be hunting for traders. Though. He's got to know this is going on. Traders, they're easy to punish, I'm telling you. They're easy to they're easy to catch out of position. They're basically just villagers walking across the entire map by themselves. Looks like Mimon is going into a purely ranged uh, com composition here. Finally, the horsemen finding the traders. Going to kill two of them. But Homeland Security is here to help. Horsemen on horsemen here. I'm guessing Katakori has the better upgrades as well. He has ranged armor, but no melee armor. While Mimon does have melee attack here. Ram down here, sieging on a tower. I don't know if that's going to accomplish much. Horsemen are in the base. This is why you went towers along your trade route here. Horseman numbers looking better for Katakori than Mimon. He's going to chase off Mimon's horsemen. Ooh, yeah. Archer numbers looking great for Katakuri here. He's going to scare off Mimon. Horseman continuing to kill more traders. This is what they need to be doing here, but eventually they are going to get whittled down by Katakuri's horsemen. And keep in mind, the Silver Tree it produces traders at half the cost and twice as fast. 
What makes it so good is that you can actually lose some traders with the silver tree, and it's not that big of a deal as it would be with a normal market. And this is looking problematic for Mimon. Even though he does have more food here, he might be Katakori to castle. Horsemen, they're going to get scared off the trade route here. They're going to go back home. And now the army for Katakori is looking lethal here. Looks like he's also thinking about going up to Castle Age here pretty soon. Villagers going out on the Pacoicos. I like it. Throwing down more towers, also a good idea. What he wants to do is get to Castle Age and start throwing Springled emplacements in his towers. That's what's going to really help him. Katakori's like, I think I could just win it right now. No, he's going to back off. Probably the smart move. You, the longer you keep that silver tree up and running, the better. Is this... Do these horsemen have the yam network? I think I must have gotten the yam network on that tower. The upgrade. And here we go. H3, the coral tie. This is what the silver tree lets you do. It lets you go for the coral tie, which buffs your army. It's, it's, it's like a military... You know, uh, enhancement landmark. It will heal your troops and give them a 25% attack speed aura as long as the Khan walks into the um, the aura with them. Yes, that is a good point. That is a very good point. You're right, Lucho. Very good point. I just don't know what this what this buff is on these horsemen right here. And here we go. He's going to be getting the towers down. That's going to be giving the speed boost to the traders. This is a pretty big army here. I'd expect to see him upgrade his trash units when he gets to Castle Age, just because he already has so many of them. I'm going to pop Maneuver Arrow. He tried to catch those villagers with their pants down, but Mimon responded very beautifully. Mimon does have a ram. Keep in mind, once he goes Castle, he can make Siege with his uh, infantry. That's going to be very useful here. The thing is, I don't really feel like it's Siege is what he needs. Maybe uh, Trebuchets. Or, um, Manganels, rather. I feel like Katakuri might also want to make Manganel. I feel like Manganel could be very useful against Mimon right now, because he doesn't really have anything to kill them with. He doesn't have any horsemen, or spears, or anything like that to kill Manganels with. Katakuri's army. Just kind of bouncing around here, protecting his trade route. Looks like Mimon's sending the camp archers, and I think this is smart. This is what he needs to do here. It looks like he's trying to intercept the traders at the market here, but there's going to be two towers here with arrow emplacements. Uh, keep in mind, there's no really troops around here to garrison in there, so it's not going to be doing too much damage to the camel archers. They could probably just tank the damage from these as they shoot at the traders. Well, I'm just going to scare them off. Yep, Katakuri's army's here. Just playing ping pong, right? Looks like he did get the veteran C in for his horsemen and his archers, and I would expect him to do it with the spearmen too here. Let's see what units he's going to go with. He's going to go with any armored units here. We're seeing with archers and a crossbow. I'm starting to pump out some lancers. I like that. Very smart. Going for a combination. I think this is the safe way to do it. Katakuri has a lot of traders. I'll tell you in a second here. Horsemen are going to look to harass some Mongolian villagers, but they're not going to do much. They're going to kill one trader, two traders. Problem is, is that those Mongolian lancers. Yep, here's the first lancer. And once the Lancers get out here, they can defend these traders against horsemen raids very well. Katakuri doing a beautiful job protecting this trade route. Let's see how many traders Katakuri has. Horsemen. Taking some bad engages here. They just need to run home here. They cannot fight this. Just run away. Look along the trade route here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11. Oh, it's, oh, wait. Split up the trade routes. Why are some of them going that way and some of them going that way? I don't know. That's weird. Horsemen. Chasing horsemen. Keep in mind, these are veteran horsemen against feudal age horsemen here, so they will tear apart their counterparts. Towers getting thrown up everywhere. <laughs> and he's just putting arrow emplacements in them. I love this. Run, run, run away. At this point, what are you even doing? What are you even doing with these horsemen? Just run them back to your base. You're just going to get them killed. I guess he just decided he doesn't want to keep those horsemen. He doesn't want horsemen anymore. He wants different units. Let's see what he's going with. Camel archers. I think this is the right move here. Camel archers and crossbows. Interesting. He doesn't have a mangonel. Got to be careful, though, with all those horsemen out for Katakuri, though. They can take down Siege very quickly. 
And I like this. Going for Springles. I think this is the smart play here. I think Katakori's thinking, the only way Meemong can really get back into this game at this point is if he makes Siege, right, and gets off some big mango shots. So I'm just going to preemptively make a bunch of Springles. First Traction Trebuchet, it's going to be hammering down some of these towers here. And here's where Field Siege will play a big part here. We got both the Field Siege sieves in here. I like it. Could have some very interesting Siege battles. He's going to be repairing his tower, but honestly, I think this is just going to be a waste of his wood. The problem is, when you repair a tower like this, you spend all your wood on it, it takes away from the amount of wood you can make siege with. Trebuchet is coming out for Meme on these. They're a counterweight trebuchet, so they have a further range than the traction trebuchet here. Let's see what they're firing down on. I think what you might want to do is aim for the Cruel Tie Tower and maybe even this, this trebuchet. That's something you can do. It looks like he's firing it on troops instead. Which isn't smart because the Quirrell Tide is going to be healing the troops. So, ooh, Springles taking out a counterweight trebuchet. I feel like they could have taken out that one too. Trebuchets are much more expensive than Springles. I would have kept them out here and if you lost a Springle just to kill that trebuchet. It would have been a good trade. Here we go. Might have a big clash. Come here. Camel Riders in here. This might be problematic for Katakori. He is going to run away with the Lancers here. Those Camel Riders will tank a lot of damage. Oh no, they're dropping like flies. Oh no, Meemaw's taking an engagement right by the Curl Tie. Katakori's gonna be getting a lot of healing on his troops here. Cam Archers, they need to be kiting here. Cam Archers getting taken out here. Oh, Katakori's cleaning everything up. These look like they're, these are still Feudal Age Archers, and these are Castle Age Archers here from Katakori. He's gonna start bodying them. Where's the Manganel? There's no Manganels here for Meemaw. That's what he needs. He needs a Manganel desperately. This is not looking good here. These men-at-arms are going to be on top of these archers. These archers aren't going to get anything done. They try and dive to take out two crossbows, but at what cost? They're all just going to die. First Lancer is coming out here from Meemaw, but I think it's too little too late. I don't think he's going to be able to deal with this. Big Wololo coming out. Don't know what the point of that is. Nobody around that priest. Ooh. Lancers. Ooh, end of the Springolds. I think we might see a GG here pretty soon, guys. Katakuri managed to kill these Springolds. Trebuchet. Probably needs to pull these trebuchets back. Horsemen going to flank it from the right, though. They're going to catch these trebuchets off guard. They can even take off, take this monk out. They're going to take out both the trebuchets. Army flooding through for Katakori right now. Oh, my God. This is... Katakori's wiping the floor with Meme on here. All the Springles getting taken out. And this is starting to look ugly. I think this is going to be GG. Yep. 